い選手ですし、えー、どこかともできますし、ノルサルトなんかできますからね。えーどちらにとっても大きな一勝だと思いますよ、はいまあ、星取り勘定の上で非常に可能性は薄いと言ってもいいわけですけれどもただし<音楽> Yes f o u r games, yes、oh. Now It has been a while, hasn't it? Which is due to because, for several reasons, I didn't have a table for several months of last year, which made it pretty difficult to review tabletop games when you haven't got a. Hmm? What about what? I'm wearing a what? Now, it has been a while, hasn't it? Which is admittedly my own fault because, for a while last year, for several reasons, I didn't have a table, which makes it kind of hard to review tabletop games if you haven't got a table to play them on. But. We have one now. And in that time when I was away from you, it kind of got me thinking about why I've been kind of reviewing board games and playing board games. Because if my Amazon history is anything right, I've been collecting board games for over three years now.、Um, started with this one, and then that one, and then after that, several others joined the shelves. And all that time I'm thinking, what keeps kind of drawing me back? What makes me want to play all of these board games? Which is what I want to talk to you about today. The explosion in board game media has certainly helped. Things like Downtime Town, The Dice Tower, and Shut Up and Sit Down have properly drew me in, mainly thanks to the enthusiasm shown by all the various hosts. I did some brilliant podcasts like The Little Metal Dog Show and Clip the Table. You just can't help but be sucked into the hobby. It also helps my son is now at the age where he can enjoy more complex games. No more messing around with snakes and ladders. Now we can get King of Tokyo on the table and enjoy that. Now that's all well and good, but it needs to be something that really draws you back into a hobby. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. I want to talk to you about the crunch. Now you all know what the crunch is. You've seen it in many board games. It could be defending a bridge in Memoir 44, or going into that last corner in Formula D. Or that last flick of that last cube in Cube Quest. The crunch is when everything comes together into one giant ball of frenzy. The theme, the game mechanics, the people around the table, it all fuses into one moment of every board game. It's something that we all chase as board gamers. It's something that we can find in other media, in movies, in music, in comics, and wherever you like. But the fact in board games it happens around the table with other people somehow makes it that little bit more special. When you pick up that die and lock eyes with your opponent, and you realise that this is it, this is the crunch. The communal aspect of games really is something that can't be underlined enough. Having a bunch of people, friends if you're lucky, around a table swapping barbed comments and groans at the roll of a die is a great experience. No, it's brilliant. And let's be honest here, you can find this kind of moment even in a rubbish game. Cranium is far from my favourite game, but still. I've got some great memories of getting that one on the table. That's what I've truly grown to love about board games. It doesn't matter if it's a heavy Euro game or a quick round of Hey, that's my penguin. It's about creating that moment that you can wax lyrical or indeed moan about for days. It's about finding that moment in each game, about creating stories and memories with your friends and families. Really, when you get down to it, the crunch is about fun, which is really the best thing of them all. So, in conclusion, what drew me back to board games was the bits and the pieces and the flash and the fan. All these bits in front of you. What keeps drawing me back every single time is the crunch. Because once you taste it, there's nothing else really quite like it. Do you reckon that we can play all of these games at once? Maybe?